I gotta call Ford and be like, what goat mode do I use for going airborne? Uh, you don't wanna do that. Off the ramp, baby. Woo! Ow! Saving the planet one giant plastic jug at a time. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I've been in a bit of a funk ever since the Viper thing, and I've felt uh, really bad about it for two reasons. Number one, I was really looking forward to the Viper Twin Turbo. Oh no, oh <laughs> no, it's true, it's really cold out now. Look, I'm all bundled up, this sucks, I hate it. Someone please help me, I'm moving to Florida. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day, but I'll tell you what, I'm in a great mood because Vader is back and uh, that truck was flexing on everyone for Halloween. Check out our pumpkins up here. Now I did my 717 logo, which I think is really cool. It looks really good, like lit up. We had Vader parked out front with a really cool, like red light on it. We had a nice fire gone. We got the JBL speaker out playing Michael Jackson and Monster Mash. <laughs> Really great night, and I hope that you guys had a fun and safe Halloween as well. Now, down to business here. We have to get the legal wheels and tires for Vader so that we can drive the truck, get it inspected, and then immediately put the illegal wheels and tires back on. The only bad part is those are 42s, and the legal setup is, well, they're 40s. So they're basically that big, and uh, I literally don't think I can fit them in the truck, so we're going to have to take the trailer. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my first time using the truck to actually lift up into the ball hitch. And uh, let's see if it worked. I think it did. <laughs> That's so cool. So you can drive it back, drop it down, get lined up, and then raise the truck back up and it locks in. Wow, that's actually, that's pretty cool. You can load a trailer without actually doing basically any manual labor at all. Much like Jeremy Clarkson, that is right up my alley. That is, that is really freaking cool. I like that a lot, that's awesome. That is the ultimate flex. You show up and you don't have to even get out of your truck to hook up your trailer. I like that. I gotta say, it's dumb, but I like it. The truck was at the shop for a while to film some ads and all that, and I really missed having it. I missed driving it. It's an event everywhere you go, every time you drive it. Very quickly, you forget like how big this truck is and how high you are off the ground because it drives so good. Now we have to get some DEF because, well, you know, the best way to save the planet is to create millions and millions of giant plastic jugs and plastic wrappers and nozzles, and then they get thrown out. That's the best way to save Mother Earth. Okay, so this is the process here. If you don't have a new diesel truck, this is what you have to do. About every 3,000, three to five, depending on you know how you drive. Um, and it doesn't really matter like performance, but it matters like city versus highway. You have to fill up your DEF tank and it, it's really dumb. It's just, it's very dumb. There you go. Like I said, saving the planet one giant plastic jug at a time. All right, so this is my buddy Jordan who the I always get. The destination is on your left. Wheels, Seven Riggle Lane. Wheel, <laughs> wheels and tires Arrived. from um, Dirty Diesels, but this is their new shop right here, uh, brand new. So really cool to see them growing uh, in a much, much bigger facility now than they used to have, which I know how that goes. It's just, it's awesome to see it. So he's doing really well. And if you need wheels and tires, hit them up because they are the go-to people. Drop her down for me. There we go. Okay. Uh -oh. So... <laughs> Dude, that's yeah, still sick, almost though. too too high. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. It's not all the way down because if you drop it all the way, it'll drag the hitch. Um, oh really? It'll yeah. Go that far yeah, down. it'll it'll go that far. But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty low. And then here's so yeah, this is like it still looks big. Give it a minute. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Big thank you once again to Dirty Diesels here. And we've got two in the back set up on the load tray. And then four on the trailer ready to rock and roll, boys. And we are ready to head home and someone's calling. All right, and now for the party trick. The trailer is ready to come off the ball. And let's see how easy we can make this. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's so, 
so nice. Let me show you guys the design at least of the wheels. I don't even think I showed you that. And uh, yeah, you will get a spare set of brand new 40s for uh, Vader when you win this truck right here. So if you don't want the red set of wheels or if maybe you know you live somewhere where it's not legal like me um, you can put these on it and be legal and be a little bit more practical there you go nice fuel wheel on there and uh, you can see it's way more of like an off-road look so it's a 20 uh, with a 40 in a 40 inch tire 40s anyway Vader back at home made it with the wheels and tires and uh, now on to something I think you guys are going to really like. Vader wheels aside here, uh, I, I'll be honest, I've been in a bit of a funk ever since the Viper thing and I felt uh, really bad about it for two reasons. Number one, I was really looking forward to the Viper Twin Turbo build. I was. I, it was, I was really excited. It was going to be like the ZR1 all over again because that car is kind of like maxed out. I don't really want to go Twin Turbo on that car because I like it the way it is, you know, I don't want to ruin it. And I know that twin turbo would be sweet and doing other stuff would be sweet, but then that's going to take away from the fact that it's a really nice daily driver. So I was looking forward to a new build on that, you know, a new really fun, fast build on the channel, even faster than my ZR1, which is a really fast car. Um, and also the second reason is, you know, I didn't want to disappoint people. I really take pride in the fact that on my channel, if I say I'm going to do something, I almost always do it. And you know, unless something really comes up and then I can't, you know, sometimes look, life happens. But, um, you know, if I say I'm getting a Lambo or whatever truck, you know, I always do it. And, uh, you know, I don't want to let people down. I, I really don't want to let you guys down. You guys are always there for me and you support me. So um, I feel like I was letting people down. And even though it was definitely smart financially, I think to sell it, um, it still doesn't mean that it's not a bummer. And also, yeah, the views weren't there for the car, but maybe again, maybe, maybe it would, they would be there if I modified it. I don't know. It just, it really didn't do, it was shockingly bad how did it, how bad it did. But again, maybe that was the video's fault. Maybe I didn't make the right content with it. I don't know. But either way, I've been thinking about it this whole time. Like I've really been, like it's been in the back of my mind, every video I make. And I'm like, man, I should, I should figure out how to fix this. And I think I still, the right move is still for sure selling the ACR. That is the right move. But man, I keep going back to like wanting a twin turbo Viper. The second I was like, ah, I'm not doing it anymore. I immediately was like, I really want to do it. You know, it's still so clearly that idea, I think in my heart is the right move because I wouldn't be thinking about it this much. I would not be, I'm ge generally, I'm not really like indecisive. So the fact that I'm going back and forth, I know that I should, in my heart, I know I have to build, uh, build a twin turbo Viper. Um, so I have made an offer. Now, this is good because, you know, the ACR is still selling. That's a very rare collectible car. To be honest, I don't know why I even got an ACR. You know, that was a 250 something thousand dollar car, over, over $250,000. Um, but, you know, the ACR is the better one to build. But I was talking to Calvo and I said, hey, you know, if I was gonna get a regular Viper, what makes the ACR better? And basically they said, well, just the wing. So that's, and I can put a wing on the car. They said, you know, not really anything else. Basically just having that big wing really helps. You can put way more power down. Um, you can put more power to the car in uh, earlier gears, like second gear and whatnot. So uh, that's the way to go for a wing. But I've made an offer. I've made an offer on another car. And this one is really cool. It's also only about 600 miles away. So I'm thinking if everything goes according to plan and I'm not gonna reveal everything. I should though, I should show you guys because I don't know what thumbnail I'm gonna use, but I feel like the car is gonna be there. Let me, uh, let me pull up on my phone here, a quick little sneak peek. Barn Cars Italia, there it is on the screen. So that's, that's all I'm showing, but uh, I am making an offer. And you guys know, if I say that I'm making an offer, that's true. Just like with the Viper originally, um, you know, I didn't, I tried not to make too many videos about it and hype it up. Like I tried to only make a couple. I did talk about like the deal that fell through and all, but you guys love hearing stories about me getting like bad deals. Um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, we're gonna get back on track real soon. So I'm sorry guys, I, I don't wanna keep going back and forth either. Um, but you know, I just haven't felt right. I haven't felt right since. And uh, you know what, if it doesn't get views, whatever, we'll try, but I, I wanna do it. So I think I'm just, I'm going through with it. I'm doing it and we'll see. And uh, we should have a, well, we may or may not have a twin turbo Viper after all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, uh, the hint was foreign cars Italia. You guys will figure it out easily. Um, 
but that's it. So let's get back on track here. Let's get back on track. I'm excited. Vader's looking good. She's got new shoes. He's got new shoes. And uh, the giveaway is live. By the way, every $1 spent on InShaneDesigns.com gets you one entry to win that truck. And uh, believe it or not, there's only about 25 days left for you to win that one. So somebody is going to win our 2017. We'll have a winner for you in about 10 days. And then uh, someone else is going to win that that truck plus 20 grand. And if you don't want the truck, even though I did buy the practical wheels and tires, if you don't want the truck, Rich, <laughs> if you don't want that truck, you can take 100 grand cash. We're offering 100 grand because it is a big truck, but honestly, I know people think it's impractical, but it's not because the lift goes, you can put it at any height you want. You can put the 40s on it. Uh, you can drop it down to get in and out. It's really like there is no reason why it, that you could daily, anybody could daily drive that truck. I really think it's like a great option for anyone. Goats jump. I got to call Ford and be like, what goat mode do I use for going airborne? Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Goat mode here. here check this out. The Broncus. <clears throat> check this out. Goat mode. Oh, normal. Eco. I don't want, I don't want eco. Yeah, you want gas? No, put it in Sport? eco for the jump. Sport? Oh, I don't want four-wheel drive. Slippery. Slippery. Mud and ruts. Can they see that? No, it's a rut. Sand. I feel like sand. Yeah, no, I don't it. want four-wheel drive. I don't need four-wheel drive. Baja. Okay, that's definitely there you jump go. mode. Baja. Baja with the, uh, the wild mode. track. Baja goat mode. Don't screw this up. This will be the time he flubs it. Ooh, it says off-road use only. Lots of, uh, we're well, going off-road, that's for sure. I mean, he has to screw up one of these times. He has to. Like, it's not... He can't be that successful that many times on a jump. Call the uh, the TRX jump successful or not. Oh, beautiful. As always, another jump in the books with the new vehicle, the Bronco. Going airborne. Probably the first time a Bronco has been jumped. History has just been made here on the land. History has been made. This might be one of the smoothest jumpers yet. Jumping Bronco, dude. dude it, it was like really smooth. It was very smooth. Hold I love it. In. All right, in. here we go. Interior view. It was really smooth. I, like dude, really smooth. One of these days you have to fail. No, dude. This was so smooth. One of these days we have to. This is why this nobody jump. even views the jump videos anymore because I've gotten too good at no, it. Dude, See, I've, I've, gotten so good that jumping is now boring. All right, well, we need to get bad at it. That would I be more entertaining. I jumped a, a T-Rex over a Viper, a priceless collectible Viper. For like a thousand and bucks. And it got, yeah, <laughs> I, I think the video made like a thousand bucks. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going seat beltless here. Yeah, you don't need the belt. It's super easy. This is a little scary. Just, ooh. Are right, you ready? Here we go. There's my tree ruts. Oh my God. We got the path. Listen to that four banger. I love it. Yeah, buddy. What, do you, what speed you hit it at? 29? Uh, yeah, it was like 28, 29. All right, here we go. Here we go, airborne. Off the ramp, baby. Woo! Oh! Jesus! <laughs> you need the seatbelt. <laughs> Your head will hit Woo! the seatbelt. Oh, yeah. That was easy. That was nice. Very nice. This thing is sick, dude. Actually, really cool. So, we are in Baja mode. So, you got all your goat modes down here. Now, look, if you... Here, if I scroll over, we got Baja mode and we're in Baja, you want that for jumping. Uh, you have a really cool camera here that shows you the front of the Bronco. Now you can see pretty easily it being a very small vehicle, but that's really nice. And that screen is huge. Like you can, it's basically like you're out there looking at the road, really high def. I mean, that is, I gotta give Ford credit. Pretty freaking cool, I like the screen, that's awesome. And uh, it really would help for off-roading. Now for our purposes here, we don't really need that. We're going off a ramp, but um, here we go. You know, you still get a little nervous when you do it, no matter how many times I do. And uh, 30, here's your view, going off. <laughs> that is sick! Your GoPro ready? So you're gonna yank these logs. Yeah, just move them out of the way. All right, well, we're out here with the Bronco. Um, Bronco looking great down here in the woods, and also, this is horrifying. Look at that. That's some like Jurassic Park. That's my finger park. right there. Yeah, look at how big that freaking thing so, is. Three inches look at long. that. Dude, Very that is nice. horrifying. I think they eat these uh, the spotted lanternflies. I kind of killed him. Now see, imagine if that was like the size of your truck. 
That'd be terrifying. That's when I probably lived in what Mexico, it was like a couple million years ago. That's what they said. When I lived in New Mexico, they were like this long. That's crazy. terrifying. And they look like that. He's gonna yank these logs with that truck there. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not oh, going well so far. Now it's gonna brace in between the two. Oh. Okay, I like it. I like it. Are you doing great so far? It's actually going really well. I can't I kinda can't believe it. Oh now see that's gonna now it's gonna brace in between. Hold on. Okay. I was gonna say if I could kick the I, I could have like maneuvered this and just moved it over. That's gonna be a nice blockade there for sure. Go ahead, give it a give it a tug, see what happens. Both the trees come down. Yep. Give it a running start. You got the yank rope on there. See, my goal is always just if I can make Bobby have some type of catastrophic failure. There it is. Ooh, you're making progress now. Yeah, you're going. Do it again. Do it again. Probably a 300 pound log. Maybe 400. So you're you're lifting like 150, 200 on your end. Are you ready? Yep. Where to grab Get up underneath it. Make your arms into a cradle. I'm done. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Did that do anything? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting it. One more, it'll pull. Maybe one or two more. It's got to kick that log around. We could actually definitely move that by hand. Oh, here he goes. Oh, good lord. But see, he's got the yank rope. He's got the yank rope. Perfect. The yank rope on there is really doing its job. The yank strap holding up, stole my truck out. You stalled it? Yeah. It shut off. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> well, I don't know it's if that's good. Part. Oh yeah. See that did great. You're you're like almost there now. This wasn't supposed to be part of the test. You're doing this good. Is so, this is so stupid. I just want to drive with the trees. <laughs> that's all I want to do. Honestly, it's such a, a, a challenge working with him. Oh my God, he's backing up. Here he comes. You don't need a yang strap for this tree, dude. Just move it. Just get out and move it. No, just, just pick that end up and, and pull it this way. Pick that end up with your hand <clears throat> right here. Just pick up this end right here and move it towards us. You do not need a strap for that tree. Michael. I want to use my straps. <laughs> I got like I, I buy the straps. I want to use the straps. We got those for free. Well, they didn't pay me. <laughs> we do love Yank Strap though. These guys are freaking awesome. Yeah, just, dude, I, and we did get them for it just free. Stole my Yank Strap out. is incredible. The yeah, straps. they're incredible. That we've gotten so many stuck like right, pieces of junk out with with those ropes. All right, here he goes. He's got a twig there that he needs a giant rope for. Look at that. That was tough there. All right, now here he goes. Yeah, that was good, that worked. I came here to see a yank. I don't wanna see you playing touch butt in the woods, dude. Come on, yank the tree. Can I say that on YouTube? That's what I'm saying, dude. You're gonna get me demonetized. That might be demonetized. I mean, these videos make me about 50 bucks. So, <laughs> the gas price is the way My videos make 20. Here we go. Ooh, 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 Yes, look at it go. It's actually, <laughs> he's driving over another log. There it goes, the, oh, right into another tree, okay. Looking good, he's now squared away. Oh my God, there he goes. Oh my God, he said he's gonna go off the ramp with it. There you go, a little fun in the Bronco, and I have to say, very impressed with Ford's uh, latest off-road rig. It's really fun. Now I'm still gonna flip it for money, but um, if I had gotten it nine months earlier, would have kept it, but it's a great truck. So if you want a Bronco, I'd say go for it. If you don't want that truck, you can take a hundred grand cash. We're offering a hundred grand because it is a big truck, but honestly, I know people think it's impractical, but it's not because the lift goes, you can put it at any height you want. You can put the 40s on it. Uh, you can drop it down to get in and out. It's really like there is no reason why it, that you could daily anybody could daily drive that truck. I really think it's like a great option for anyone. It, it can be it can be practical. It's sick. 
Uh, but yeah, if you don't want the truck, you can get 100 grand. So there you go. Enter if you want. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Take care. Have a great night. I'll see you in the next one.